Cloud M&A deals are off to a strong start in 2021. This is the year of cybersecurity. Email, backup, disaster recovery are critical elements in remote work. And there has never been a more crucial time to upgrade your tech stack today. With that said, we're seeing a record level of M&A deals for 2021 already. 30 and counting. First up, digital transformation is accelerating. Three cloud giants have made four acquisitions in the first two weeks of 2021. Cognizant has acquired Servian and Linium. Accenture acquired RealProtect and IBM acquired Seven Summits. I'll discuss all three major cloud deals uh, by the cloud giants um, and why they matter. First up is Cognizant. It doubles down on digital intelligence. Servian's acquisition of Servian specializes in the transformation stage. They've partnered with Amazon, Google Cloud, Microsoft, all the top cloud providers, Snowflake, all the major guys. And they specialize in several verticals from banking, telecommunications, insurance, retail, and government. With over 500 employees in New Zealand and Australia, this will now double Cognizance um, exposure in uh, in those regions in the land down under. So it doubles the size of its business in Australia and New Zealand now. The second big acquisition was a ServiceNow partner, Linium, that they acquired from uh, Nest Digital Engineering. With 150 employees going from across the world, from New York to India, um, they'll be added to Cognizant's ServiceNow division, which is a really big part workflow partnership. Linium has more than a third of its clients from Fortune 100 companies and has definitely won several leadership awards from the ServiceNow ecosystem. So I think we'll see a lot more. This is Cognizant's 10th digital focus acquisition since last January, and they've already announced about $1.4 billion in acquisitions in the past 12 months. So they're not slowing down in this space. Second is Salesforce. It's now become an important strategy to IBM's cloud strategy. So last uh, the last week, uh, IBM has already de decided that they're going to spin off their managed service provider business, double down on hybrid cloud from the Red Hat Red Hat Linux um, acquisition. So the acquisition of Summit Summits is now bringing on 122 Salesforce export, uh, experts, um, <clears throat> making uh, IBM still a top 10 Salesforce partner. Um, and they're going to continue to invest heavily in training, education, and support the key Salesforce products. Um, and these guys are betting big on uh, cloud transformation. Um, they're going to continue to buy more space, uh, more businesses in this space. Um, it's going to be interesting what will happen when they spin off the managed service division because that's uh, that's mostly infrastructure, software, and hardware work. But um, the the split between the two businesses will definitely increase increase value for current shareholders when they own two companies that have uh, different revenue strategies. Cloud is more reoccurring, and more than half of its 50-60% 50, of the revenue from that division is reoccurring um, and high margins. So the MSP will be a different lower margin, lower growth business that will be, <clears throat> I think it's double the size of its competitors into $60 billion in sales or backlog in revenue. So it's a massive business. Last up is Accenture. They just acquired a major cybersecurity business in Brazil, uh, RealProtect. Uh, they cover the entire Latin American region. You know, it's really hard to enter new countries with uh, without familiarity with the with the region, how they operate. So it's best to just acquire existing assets. So RealProtect is bringing a team of ninety cybersecurity experts who work in healthcare, energy, and banking. Um, they work on ways to improve IT security and managed services with continuous monitoring and uh, a security incident response team. So this deal will cement Accenture's footing in cybersecurity. Uh, last year, they purchased a major division from Symantec that was later acquired by Broadcom, um, and they acquired several other smaller deals in this space. The combination of all these deals would give Accenture a stronger competitive advantage to provide these service offerings and really, really differentiate from the other two major um, giants that did acquisitions and digital transformation and uh, and Salesforce cloud partners. So cyber is big. I think this is the uh, this is the year of cyber. There'll be a lot more to take place in 2021.